All right. Can everybody see my screen up there? It's casting, so I'm assuming you can. So today we're just going to go over stats, guys, and I'm not really going to dive too deep into it. I really want to just show you guys how I implement this into the buyer's console, um, especially for all the newer guys, how I organize my tabs when going into a buyer's console, right? So uh, just getting right into it. Um, this is kind of just the layout that I have, right? We'll have uh, the PowerPoint open with uh, the client's name. We'll have our home buyer's consultation here. We'll have our team reviews and so on and so forth, right? So the part that I'm just going to skip to because all of us should be, you know, uh, minus Bree and uh, Danny here uh, should be well versed on the buyer's console. The part that we like to touch on or that I like to touch on is the market review, right? Just going into the stats on this piece. Um, and typically the way that I run this, going into it, say, hey guys, uh, one of the main things that we want to run into is just uh, looking at what the market's doing now, going over the stats to decide more or less what price we're going to be offering on this home and give you guys an educated decision based off of what the market's doing, right? And what I'll do at this point is I'll go ahead and open up, if in this example, I'm filtering it to free, uh, Danville. Uh, this client is looking in Danville. His budget is at 1.3 million. So I'll, I'll immediately go into um, the criteria and just filter it. Uh, Whatever is active, single family, in whatever city they're looking for, up to 1.3. I'll pull up the results. And this is the first thing that I like to look at. How many homes are available in the area that you guys are looking for? In this case, Mr. Client, uh, it looks like there's one active single family home. These other ones that are marked with the M are actually off market homes, right? Which aren't available to the public eye. But because you're working with me as a professional, we're actually going to be able to show you and get access to these off market homes, giving you an advantage. But I just want to put into perspective the city of Danville has about 100,000 residents, and we have one active home, right? I just wanted to throw that out there. So in case we don't find you a home right away, um, it's not us. It's literally what the market's doing right now. We're at a shortage of inventory, right? Uh, and given the fact that this is the only home, we should expect a good amount of, the only single family home under 1.3 million in Danville, we should expect a good amount of competition, right? And if we go a little bit deeper into this, Mr. Client, I always like to show everybody the stats, right? This is, these are the stats for, uh, and I'll show you guys how to do it, right? Um, so maybe I should start there real quick. So to look up the stats, you just go, uh, I'll start it from the top here. You just go into your MLS, um, you pull up stats there, and then you can just filter it. I'll type in Danville, since that's the example we're using today. Uh, we'll go residential, we'll go single family. And in this case, my client is looking for at a minimum of three or more bedrooms. So we could even filter it and you, could, you guys can apply any other filters you'd like depending on your, uh, your client. But this is the example we'll use today. Danville, we're looking for a single family residence, uh, three or more bedrooms. Uh, and we'll just look at the numbers, right? So one of the main ones that I always like to look at is just the sale to list price ratio. Yeah, you press generate. And the charts are kind of confusing. So I always just go to the data. Right, and it'll give you all of the uh, the past four years, including this year. Obviously, you can filter it down this this year if you'd like, but these are the one these are the main points that I like to touch on. Right, as you can see here, Mr. Client, um, over the past three months, the market has been going up. It looks like in September we were at 105 percent sale to uh, list ratio. In October, we went up 3%. In November, we went up another uh, 1%, up to, all the way up to 109,000. Now, you may be asking, you may be asking, Mr. Client, what does this even mean, right? Why do I care about this? Well, the reason why we care about this is because this gives you a really easy example on, let's just say that a house is listed at a million dollars. This is showing us that it's the average in this area is selling for 90,000 over, right? 109% uh, sale to list price ratio. Uh, another cool stat that I like to show you is just the average days on market. And this will also include the sale to list price. 
But as you can see, um, this is updated up until uh, this past month. The average days on market for the city that you're trying to buy in, um, you know, anything up to three bedrooms, uh, single family residence is, is about nine days, right? So if we do end up finding something that you like, Mr. Customer, uh, we're going to have to for sure have your pre-approval ready to go. And second of all, um, just have everything in line, right? We have to set aside time to, first of all, drive out there to view the home. Second of all, sit back, think about if this is what you like, if this is what you want to pursue. And then we'll jump right back into the stats to come up with a competitive price point um, to submit while still protecting your best interest, right? But we have nine days to do that. So, you have questions? Yeah. So, so Alfredo, let me ask you this. What sure. happens... How would you use the stats if somebody is telling you, I want to wait a couple months? I want to wait until April. How would you use these stats to, 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 to go through that question? Sure. Well, I can see, uh, so uh, Mr. Custom, you're saying that you want to wait until April. So just looking at the numbers here, if we go all the way, let's just go back to September, right? September, we were at 105%, 108% in October, and 109% in November. So this chart, this data is literally telling us that the sale to list price ratio is just continuing to go up. Remember the example I gave you guys earlier. Back in September, if we're talking about a million dollar home, it's selling on average for $50,000 over, right? 5% over. Uh, fast forward to November, we're selling for $90,000 over. You're telling me that you want to wait another six months? Just going based off of the numbers, it sounds like we're going to be seeing at least, you know, maybe an extra 100000 or more, right? Just going based off of what the data is showing us now. So uh, I'll ask you again, is, are, you trying to pay, are you trying to save as much money as possible on this, Mr. Klein? Yes, yes. You know what? That makes sense. Okay. So wouldn't you agree that these numbers justify that we should start, you know, our home search sooner than later? It does, it does, Alfredo. But let me ask you this. You know what? I want some more time to save up for a bigger down payment. You want some more time to save up for a bigger down payment. Okay, that's great. And I mean, it sounds like you're, you already have a $1.3 million pre-approval here. So what, why is that? So guys, Mark, what's the, so, 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 how many questions do we get for rebuttals are, yeah. I want a way to get a bigger down payment. This, these stats show you a really, really good way of combating that, right? You're trying to save an extra 10,000, an extra 20,000, an extra 30,000 by showing them the data, by waiting an extra couple of months or a couple of uh, two months or three months or whatever the hell they want to wait. You're chasing the market at that point. So this is a very good opportunity for you to say, hey, listen, Mr. Customer, it's great that you're saving up more money, right? But the reality is that you're never going to end up catching up only if you're going to end up getting these bigger chunks of money, right? So, Mr. Customer, as a professional, it would make more sense to look at properties now as opposed to waiting for the, the market later, right? This is a good way of indication of showing these people physically to take you out as a salesperson, the scummy salesperson, right? Take us out of it, but now make us look like a professional when we're only showing data. It's not me telling you this. Now it's the market telling you this, right? Yeah. And it just helps justify the, you know, the price point, the price that we're going to be offering. So obviously, we all know that it just varies from home to home, neighborhood to neighborhood. Um, once we run the comps, this is just something else that we can include. Obviously, I, I included this from the get-go on our initial presentation for everybody that just joined. I normally talk about these stats right here in the market review, right? We go into the inventory conditions, show them what's available. Um, within the price point and within their criteria, and then get into just talking about, you know, what the market trend is, right? And literally the market trend is shown here in the stats, right? It tells us what's happening um, in specific with the sale to list price ratio. And you guys can um, filter this however you'd like, right? I'll go back to it um, for everybody that just joined again. You go into the matrix. It's like if you're gonna show uh, a search for a property, go to your stats, um, and then it's as easy as just entering whatever city they're looking for. You can even go into zip codes. Yesterday, me and Mitch had a, a console with a uh, pair of buyers that are currently renting, right? And I asked them, hey, would you guys consider just buying the current rental that you're in right now? Have you guys had the talk with, you know, your, your landlord? Maybe he wants to sell. And they're like, wow, well, we would love to stay here. So now 
they're going to go ahead and speak with that landlord. And what I'm doing is all I'm doing is I'm taking the zip code that they're in right now. I'm filtering it to the amount of bedrooms that they have. Uh, and I'm, and this allows me to come back at them with some data, right? Uh, obviously, I'm still going to be running the comps the way we normally do it within a quarter mile, uh, up to 90 days. But this just is that extra, uh, uh, that extra data to show them to justify the numbers that you're going to be coming at them with, right? We're not just pulling stuff out of thin air. So, uh, I mean, any questions? This is really just the piece that I wanted to touch on. Um, I think we can, we can all agree that we can have a separate uh, uh, training later on for everybody on how to run the consult from beginning to end, you know, what tabs you want to have open, ready to go um, while you're on that consult, just to avoid going back and forth um, and just to look more professional. But this, does everybody understand? I mean, can I get a thumbs up? Can I get some feedback? Can I get some questions of what you guys think about this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like everybody. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> sure. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, Mauricio brought up a great point. Um, he mentioned that we should probably just have a workshop around this, right? Where everybody is, is in the same office. Um, just to answer any questions up front, and obviously we can all brainstorm around it. But um, I think that's that's a good good idea, right? I know right now some of us aren't all here, um, but for everybody that's in the office right now, after this call, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper uh, into it with everybody, and just make sure that everybody knows how to pull it up, right? Because that's probably the part that that you guys are going to be uh, wondering about, right? But again, it's super easy to do. So, do you have something you wanted to add, Benny? Yeah, so I wanted to ask if you were able to like forward that information, like after you pull up all of the the data, like are you able to email that directly to your clients? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, so uh, uh, Manny, uh, Manny asked a great question. Uh, after you pull up this data, are you able to email it directly to your clients? The answer is yes. I'll just give you a quick example here. Let's just pull up uh, some stats here in San Jose, residential, single family, they're looking for three plus bedrooms. This is just San Jose in general, right? We're not zoning in on any zip codes. Again, we'll go over to the sale to list price ratio. This is probably one of the most popular ones um, just to justify the amount of money that we're gonna be offering on these homes. Uh, if you wanted to send this over to your client, Manny, um, you can just, once you're on the chart, it says export as CSV. It'll pull it up down here. It's not letting me uh, open it. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then you can, at this point, just filter it, uh, or I'm sorry, download it onto your desktop and then send it out in a nice little email for them, right? Just make it look a lot more professional, or you can text it directly to them if you like. Great question. All right, guys. I know this was a quick one, um, and I, I know a lot of you may have more questions in the future about it, but does anybody have any other questions um, before we just end it off? Uh, I guess um, what are the other um, pieces of data that you could that you could pull up? I know there was like list to sell ratio. Yeah. yeah so like, what are the other, other ones? The, the other piece of data that you guys can pull up, um, it, you guys can actually customize it, right? It already has a list here, right? If you see, there's system presets, um, average days on market, days to sell, listings by price range, months of inventory, number of homes for sale currently versus sold right um and the list goes on and on but if you guys want to customize it you guys can also customize it through here right instead of looking at a chart for the past three years we can just customize it year to date so the chart will only show all of 2021 um and then you can also group it by month you can group it by uh by city by county um, there's so many things that you guys can come in here and just mess around with i haven't had the chance to i did uh create a custom report just the other day but there's just so many different things that it just takes you guys um, messing around with it to really get used to it and and, uh, and and create your own custom reports. But um, I feel that the presets that the, the MLS already has there for us are the most popular ones, and they're the ones that are going to be the easiest to understand for the clients. 
Scott, one, one of the uh, the that I use is the uh, month of inventory. Month of inventory. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, again, guys, that's all I really wanted to share for you guys. It's something that um, I've implemented into my last four buyers consults. It's I pull it up as soon as we get into the market review, and uh, I've signed all four of them. So four for four since I've been using this, um, something that I would implement. I think in our next meeting, uh, we'll definitely talk about just the closing process. I've been working uh, uh, a lot more recently with Mitch, and I've been implement implementing my uh, market tactics. He's been going in on the close for the loyalty agreement, and again, we've had great success. So we'll we'll uh, spin around to another one of these uh, meetings when everybody is together to just go over what what we do. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day. Let's kill it. Thank you. To, uh, thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, Alfredo. That was good, Alfredo. Thank you. I don't know why I can't do them. It's crazy. Maybe because I'm sharing my screen.